What is up, everybody, and welcome to another Creative Monday with me, Eli. All right, so um, today I will be reading a poem that I wrote last week, I believe, uh, last couple weeks. Um, yeah, that's all the intro. I'm disclaimer. I'm very tired. Um, I'm in my last week of college ever, um, but it's finals week, and I've been writing a lot, and I'm on very low sleep, but um, I'm almost done, and that's exciting, but yeah. So here's a poem that I wrote uh, a couple weeks ago, or within the last couple weeks, and I hope you enjoy. The Danger of Emotional Sincerity and Distractions I keep letting people try and feel things through me. Love, safety, acceptance. I'm a walking emotional safe spot, and this makes all the fellow sad and confused twenty-somethings in my life think that maybe my comfort is good for them. Maybe I will nurture them into happiness. But I can't. And I see that from the start. I know the patterns and watch myself fall into false domesticity. I spend weeks coming home with songs and poems and wildflowers of half-truths. I hold people through the night until they kiss me through their tears. We lay sweating and breathing each other in at 4 a.m.s as we don't talk about why we feel so sad after sex. We let our chests heave into each other's, melting healthy friendship boundaries with each absent-minded trailing fingertip. In the moment, the connection is addictive. Bodies intertwined and names moaned. We mainline body fluid and stay high on our ability to find intimacy in the napes of necks. Knowing all of someone's details can feel so damn poetic that we force the romance into it, even though we know ours is not that type of poem. It's one of fragments and broken stanzas and chaotic order and... Ultimately, they break down. They cry and say sorry and tell me to stop being so kind to them, stop comforting them. If I stop, I'll have to look at myself, feel for myself. And so I hold them, let them kiss me through their tears, and assure them that love will come just not with me. I knew it was never going to be me. Not like this. Not while we push our collective sadness between us and run with it above our heads, arms shaking under the weight. But I can pretend it might be me for the downward spiral, the exhilaration of the last effort before collapsed elbows until we plunge back into ourselves. Okay, um, that was The Danger of Emotional Sincerity and Distractions. I hope you liked that. Um, it was a little bit longer, one of my longer ones. I started to just call these meditations because they're kind of just written in paragraphs, and they're not short essays, but they're not really, like, poemy poems either, <laughs> but I don't know. But also, exciting life news. Um, so I turned in my senior thesis uh, this past week, which was a chat book. It ended up being 40 pages instead of, like, the 15 that I had planned. And I have, like, way more than that. So I basically um, wrote a manuscript this whole this quarter. I wrote, like, a 70-page-ish manuscript. And the minimum is, like, 50, 48 to 50 pages to submit for a book of poetry. So that's something I'm going to be working on after graduation, um, trying to get that published. So hopefully my first book will... I'll be talking to you about it in a few months. Um, and then also, what else is new? Oh, tomorrow is my three months on tea. So I will make a video with changes and stuff. I'll post it tomorrow at some point, probably in the afternoon. So look forward to that too. And uh, I hope you're well. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me every week on Mondays doing creative things, subscribe, uh, comment down below. If anything new in your life are you graduating are you in school what's going on how's work or how's life and i hope you have a great day